everybody. This is Elaine, and I've been coffee staining some paper again. This time, just to, uh, nothing fancy, just staining it. Um, but I'm coming on today. This is kind of a test also. I got a new laptop. Finally. I think I must have had that laptop for 15 years. Anyway, I just want to show you some things at the last retreat that I did. And hold on. I got to get them from behind me. And it is using things, um, like I've said before, to keep them out of the landfill. And I hope I can do this. The first one is a button bouquet. This one has traveled with me, so it's a little bit of a mess. And I did it in all kinds of assorted colors. Um, this wire actually came on auction tags that I sell on my Etsy shop. And I've always pulled the wire out because no one ever seems to care about the wire. And I've saved it. Well, this is what I used it for. Inside of each hole for the salt or pepper is two little, do I call them button flowers? Inside of each hole. All right, so there's that one. And then I had picked these little ones up from my friend Kathy. She had a bunch of them. And um, Kathy's always got pretty cool stuff laying around. And so I did two of them. One with kind of a rosy gold color rocks. And these rocks, well actually it's not rocks, it's broken glass, came from the Dollar Tree. And in this case I just did white buttons. And these are what I have given out. Actually I don't know, if, I didn't do these at the last retreat. I did them at the one before. But I do plan on doing them again. So, anyhow, so that's that. Let me see what else I want to show you. Okay. This is, all right, now here we go. Uh, all kinds of reminder things are popping up now. Um, so hold on a minute. I got to get this stuff away from me. And I don't know how to do that. Um, let's see. All right got it out of the way um, these are wood samples I think they were for furniture um, let's see here it's not possible to guarantee an exact match between two pieces of furniture there you go anyhow look at these they've got the little holes in them to hang them up and I just took all kinds of little pieces of fabric and just layered them up and uh, made like a, a little wall thing I think that her adorable just a little something to put on a little space in your crafty area. And I do. I have these on the wall in my studio. I guess I don't need to bury them way back there. Now the last thing that I have. And uh, I'm going to show you. This is vinyl flooring. And it's going to kind of lay here funny. And I'll show you why. Got one more. This um, I did... I painted the vinyl flooring and then you know all that brown Amazon paper we get. Well, that's what that is. It's a book page. Some more Amazon paper. That's a digital. And then just some lace. Some of the Tim Holtz people. And then this is a cork that I sliced. I saw the other day where a lady had taken and had sliced the corks lengthwise. And then she was asking everybody what to do with them. And I wanted to holler and say, no, slice it like a loaf of bread. Don't, yeah. And um, I do have some little stamps that fit perfectly in there. As you can see, here's two different stamps. But aren't they adorable? But the best part is they are on little easels that my die does not necessarily want to cut correctly. See, that one right there is already kind of coming apart. Um, but, yeah. So let me show you that. This was, I think it is retired, but that's what I did. And what happens to me is that when, instead of scoring along here, it kind of wants to cut a little farther through. I've tried thin, I've tried thick. So as you can see, that one I hadn't done it, and I will have to go back now. But I've added some little tape and everything just to kind of hold it together. But I just think they are adorable. And I guess I can lay them flat so we can see. <clears throat> Hold on. You'd think I'd be a little better prepared with all this. 
but like I said, I was kind of winging it with my new laptop. I'm so excited. I spent a lot of money. Anyway, that's that. All right, so let's slide all these over here and frame. So there you go. My point is to all of this is if you get something, take a look at it and see what you think. You know, and I know sometimes for me, it has taken me a little while to come up with something. Um, I'll stare at something and I'm like, oh, and I will put it over on a shelf and I'll, and then all of a sudden, usually in the middle of the night, it'll come up to me and it'll say, hey, um, I, I got an idea. And uh, so that's that. So with that being said, I hope you like what I did. Um, I do try to put up videos on Tuesday evenings, not been as good as I had been in the past. Uh, but Tuesdays is my night. And you can find me on Facebook. I have a group, a page, a private Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I try to get on Pinterest and post something from now and then. And I do have a little bitty Etsy shop with my blueprints and tags and stuff in it. So go take a look at that. And remember, if you live in the vicinity or are willing to travel to North Alabama, um, not where I live, I travel to it too. I do um, two junk journal slash mixed media retreats a year, and I would love to have you. Just reach out to me, and um, I do kind of have folks that come from all over the U.S., and I would love to have you as well. And I'm looking at my screen right now, and I see the little logo down there that tells you what um, kind of camera I'm using. <laughs> Don't like that. Anyhow, that's it for me, and I will see you down the road in the next video, and I appreciate you coming by. See you down the road. Bye.